Hello everybody and welcome to Abskind or Abskund or something with letters and stuff. <laughs> um, this game is another game made by the same developer of, as the, you know, the other video I did, what was it called the Infinity Trip. It's made by the same developer, so it's kind of going to be like the, the same game, although I actually like this one better because I'm not nearly as bad at this one. As you can see, I got a high score of 11 because I just tried it out just to just to see how it played out. And it's actually really interesting. I'm going to move the mouse out of the um, picture so you don't, you know, so you're not going to yell at me and say, like, get it out of the way. But anyway, the point of this game is similar to the, um, to the Infinity Trip one where you're pretty much just gathering points until you end up dying. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much avoid all the obstacles, there's not much to it. It's pretty much this playing field and just avoiding all the obstacles. Now, the the other main goal of the game is to collect the white cubes to get points. As you can see, it's going up by one every time I actually get one. And the, the these obstacles, like the lines, they can actually break the collectible. Like, as you can see right now, they actually break it. And... If you get hit once, you will die, so it's not the end of the world if you do miss uh, a cube. It just means that you, that's just one less that you'll be able to get, obviously. Uh, I don't think there's a limit, I, like, to how many you can get. I think it's just, like, keep on going until you end up dying. But, you know, like I, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be a lot better at this one because it's kind of a bit more slower pace than the other one, so... I don't know. I want to see how far I can actually get in this one because I, I feel like in this one I can like I feel like I can get to at least like a hundred. But like I said, if you get touched once, you will end up dying. And obviously, this one you're not using the mouse because that would be that would be weird. I don't know how that would work if you use the mouse. So it's like W A S and D. Uh, I don't know if you can use the arrow keys. I haven't tested that out, nor do I really feel like testing that out right now. Uh, I'm not sure if it gets harder than this. It probably does. I don't really know. But let's see. We are at 34. Hopefully, I can get to at least 50. I want to see. I want to see how much I can actually get to. Um, the, the things do seem to be getting faster, th so that's nice. The the oh jeez, <laughs> man, it spawned in my face. Why? That's no fair. It spawned in my face. Anyway, let's just try again, just because. Let's see. I will prevail. I will get to like the highest that this game that anyone has gotten to in this game which I don't even know how many people have played this game because I don't think there's a leaderboard but that stupid thing spawned in my face it's not my fault that's it's not my fault it's the game's fault because of RNG I don't really know if it's RNG because I don't think those things randomly go on a spot in the screen they're probably set points but probably not at the same time because I don't know what I'm talking about don't die? Uh, died. Referring to, like, inanimate objects as dying, because that's what they... You know, that's the proper terminology. You just say they're dying, even though they're not living. Makes that really make sense. Get it? Yes! So many, like, clutch moments. It's like... <laughs> in a game like this, it's clutch. You know, you know you, you, you like, you know you're bad at gaming in general when you like say that stuff in this game is a clutch. Like just, oh look at that clutch movement, man! I just got it before it, um, before the thing broke it. So stupid, but I like it. it. It's a stupid thing that I like, and if I like it, then that's okay, right? Because that's all that matters. Uh, uh obviously I only got to like 11, then I started recording, so I don't know how many more like <clears throat> obstacles and stuff they actually have they probably don't have a lot more obstacles than what we're seeing they might get faster but i hope they get more faster or faster more faster yeah <laughs> words but you know i kind of like the challenge that we already have right now although it's not like really a challenge to be honest i think talking right now and concentrating is more of a challenge than what the game's actually providing but Maybe at like 50 it will like speed up. Get it? Yes! And the controls are like really... <clears throat> they're like really... Uh, you know, it's like really nice because it's really responsive. I don't know why it took me so long to think of that. But the cool thing is it seems like the, the balls that shoot out can actually destroy things that follow you. And... I am keep on... Like I keep on like getting... 
confused thinking that the giant ball is gonna follow me when only the, the thing that looks like oh man i knew it i was trying to like dodge the the thing but i ended up getting killed by that thing and it's like that thing we're referring to things as that thing is it just me or are these cubes bigger or is that what the game does like it everything just progressively gets smaller that might actually be like what it is though i don't think it is Maybe it's like, oh, you suck at this game so much, so we're gonna make everything bigger. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Come on, get at least 50. I need 50. Ugh, the clutch. Clutch movements. Break it? No, it didn't break it. Why? Uh, <laughs> I sound like I'm so mad, but... Uh, maybe if the things don't break the red guy that's following us, maybe it keeps on, like, stacking. As in, like, maybe more than one will start to follow you. But the only thing that I have a problem with, it's not really a problem, like, problem per se, but it's like, the thing that I don't like is sometimes games like these, like, they take too long to step up the difficulty. Like, eventually, I don't know about this game, obviously, but uh, a lot of games like this, like, they do get harder, but they don't get harder until, like, a really long time. Like, it could be until, like, I get to, like, 100 or 150 before it actually gets harder. And it's like, when I do get to the hard part, it, it'll be like, oh, if I get touched, I'll lose it all and I'll have to, you know, replay until I get to that hard part. Get it? No, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna, even gonna try. Those aren't right there. Break it? Finally. I think that was the first time that, that guy got broken. His heart got broken. Oh, jeez, that red thing. I thought that, I thought that was an enemy. Like, that little red pixel. Yeah, that's just some, like, freaking disappearing because that's what an enemy do. They disappear. In the name of the law, get it? Uh, no, I'm not even going to try. <clears throat> and obviously, if you couldn't tell, the red lines do kill you. I, it would kind of be silly if they didn't. I mean, they break the piece, so why wouldn't they break you? It's only, um, no, it's only right, right? Right, right, yeah. It's only left, right? <laughs> yes. But the music is actually cool. I, I, I do like the music. Um, a lot of these games don't actually have music and it's just awkward. Like when you're actually playing it. Because it's like, oh, I'm just moving across the screen and it feels like I'm not doing anything. Well, not that it's not like doing anything, but it feels like I'm just like... It feels like you're about to fall over and die. Because it's like nothing to listen to or anything like that. It just gets like super awkward. But let's see. Yeah, I do believe the things are actually moving faster, like the red lines, I don't- I'm not actually sure. I- I assume this game's difficulty curve is more like... Like, what it does to increase the difficulty, I mean, is like, add more of the red guys that follow you, that's all I could actually assume. But... Actually, I-, I this is- I'm- I can't even say anything. No! I'm dead. I'm dead! No! I'm dead. Goodbye, world. Well, I, I didn't know the game was going to start doing that. That's actually cool. Let's go one more time, because I'm already at like 8 minutes, surprisingly. And... Get it? Eh, oh, man. oh, what? Well, I'm so good at this. Can I just press enter, actually? Yes, I can. I don't know, though. I don't know if that's actually good. Uh, I don't think I've actually recorded a video where the... Um, where my mouse is on the other monitor, I don't know how that will affect shadow play. It shouldn't really, but <clears throat> uh, it probably will, knowing shadow play and just how weird shadow play actually is. But come on, let's keep going. Get it, get all the stuff. Give me all of your stuffs. Yeah, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's like these weird, uh, like weird, um, frame things yeah frame things that keep on happening where like it, it goes to like 30 fps for like a split second and you can like just barely see it but it's like i see things like those and it's really weird you would think i'd kind of be used to those because of like oh my computer's not the best so that kind of happens like you would think it would happen more often in games but it doesn't really it's more of like these kinds of games where uh oh man um i'm gonna stop the video here i i wanted to actually do more but i got 62 so that's really nice i, I wanted to get to like 80 or 100 but that'll do for now so in the next video 
Um, I will probably keep doing more of these indie games. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. And goodbye. E